During the last decade, Uruguay has stepped up in the smart services industry, providing assistance to several countries in various fields. Uruguay bears significant knowledge in the three smart services categories, BPO, Business Process Outsourcing, KPO, Knowledge Process Outsourcing, and ITO, Information Technology Outsourcing. Uruguay is positioned as a location of high quality services and competitive cost. Its value proposition may be summarized in four main attributes, like country reliability, talent pool, market access, and last but not least, quality of life. Uruguay has a wide legal framework for foreign companies seeking to offer their services worldwide based mainly on the free zones regulations which are a prominent model in Latin America. There is a, a, a well-established experience that uh, allows companies uh, not to start from zero. They, they come here and they already you know, get people that uh, they already know how global companies behave and what they expect. Each Uruguayan has a grandpa or a grandma that comes from abroad. So this is a country that since its, its first inception has been looking outwards. The Economist uh, mentioned Uruguay as the most uh, prosperous country in Latin America. International brands started seeing like opportunities here in Uruguay and um, we've helped with our clients. We helped them also translate this global message to a local market. But uh, it's not just rankings, it's also the sense that if you don't provide a, a good environment for companies to come here, they may go elsewhere. So it's not a matter of you coming, but you staying. I'm Brazilian, um, but both my parents are from Uruguay. So, and I lived half of my, my life outside of Uruguay. And um, what I see from Uruguayans is that there's this amazing, this really amazing um, talent. Uruguayan talent is uh, recognized by settled companies because of its commitment and flexibility and adaptability. The performance of Uruguayan experts, as well as the process-oriented approach of local companies, compose the added value that many companies find in Uruguay when searching for a business destination. This has been traditionally a very well-educated country where families appreciate education, but also this has been a country where students uh, would like to show their abilities early in their education stage. There's been the development of academic careers related to filmmaking with many, many graduates. Uh, so you have a wide availability of professionals that are reasonably well trained. People here start to work even at probably at the second year of university, they start to work. So that mix of studying and making sure that you finish, but also working, I believe brings a, a, a very nice attitude. Uruguay engineering career was the first one in Latin America. Uh, it started a couple of years after the MIT one, so we have a large tradition in IT engineers. And also, due to the small size of our market, Uruguayan engineers had to see foreign markets from the beginning. Every child has a laptop given to the child by the state as soon as you enter public education. So, in many ways, it's a highly technological country, considering the region. The social and political conditions, based on democracy and freedom of access to education, the cultural tradition and the proficiency of English language of Uruguayans all contribute to critical thinking professionals capable of making crucial decisions and improving products both uniquely and creatively. We don't have a long local history. We have a very short local history. We don't, we don't have strong uh, pre-Hispanic cultures striving. We, we don't have none of that. So in many ways, since the very beginning of the country, the country has always been about the future. There were opportunities where we worked with uh, global teams from all over the world, and we really saw that what we were doing here was just as good or even better. It's very easy to incorporate new ideas and new technologies and new ways of operating. It's very easy to change the country. It's a small country close to these giants, 
but they had to really sort of uh, create its own identity to be able to differentiate itself from, from the neighbors. The availability of, of a, a wideband internet is so ex extended among the population, it's almost mandatory to have fast speed internet. In terms of availability of equipment, uh, Uruguay is at the forefront of Latin America. You have, you have rentals here that you don't find in many much bigger countries of Latin America. The, the degree of organization and, and detail uh, is amazing. You can hire almost any equipment here. We have a lot of very nice video production companies, very successful companies operating for very high-end global customers. But also, at the same time, you develop this independent, very quirky, weird-looking, um, very personal local style. So there's, there's something about uh, Uruguayan talent and design. There is, it's like a different point of view uh, a different vision, there's quality to it, and uh, it's really special, something that you cannot find anywhere in the world. So for those firms that like innovation, for those firms that uh, they need to give customer a, a, a fresh approach to things, I believe that these regions are very good. Welcome to the 21st century Uruguay, where the future has just started and it's waiting for you.